Hey guys, today we are going to talk about a deck that has just top 8 the Pro Tour. Now it's a very interesting deck, this was made by Pierre, because it is extremely affordable. When I look at the deck, you can change some of the cards around. So the Torrential Gear Hulk, it's about $20 now, but it used to be about $5, but it's a one of, and I'm sure you can just make it a Tormenting Voice. The card that is probably the most expensive here on the main board is the tower. The tower has gone up to like $2. Sometime I'm actually going to make a second video about the tower and how random cards like this can go up in price if they are the only valuable card in the deck. So as you take a look at the deck, you have Tormenting Voice, Common, Take Inventory, Lots of uncommons and commons, not even that many rares. If you take away the Gear Hulk and the Towers, and Towers are very affordable. All you have are the Fumaro, and that's it for non-rares in the main board. You have Fiery Temple, Temper, uh, Lightning Axe, Avoid, Shatter, all uncommons and commons. Galvanic Bombardment, also a common. Harness Lightning, a Glimmer of Genius, Anticipate. These are cards that are insanely cheap right now. Now when you go to the sideboard, you do have one more Gear Hulk, but again, you don't really need that. Um, you have four Nimbus of Frost, not a extremely high money card, and Thing and Ice, which has gone down in price. So when you look at the overall deck, I think you can make a version of it for less than $10 and win your Friday Night Magic. Now, the one card that has spiked the tower is still only a $2 card. Overall, this is a pretty OP deck that you could honestly make for under $10. Uh, you can make a variant of the deck without the sideboard, without the gear hulk for under, probably under $5. I mean the land, yeah, you do have to have the land a few more rows, but very interesting deck and very affordable. Anyway, bye guys.